Remember, if you've never been alone, you should try it sometimes, but eventually it gets sad. I'm Cody Reese, and I'm your New York City host for Five Buck Lunch. My love of food has taken me to more than 35 countries. I've worked as a cook, farmer, and cheesemaker. Now, I'm in NYC in search of the tastiest and cheapest food my ducats can buy. Join me as I take you to the dankest lunch spots for five bucks or less. Barely even a doctor, but I do know that the stomach is basically a large bag that you sometimes fill with food. Now, getting enough yum yum inside of your tum tum when you only have a few little rumple dumpkins? Well, that sounds pretty similar to the premise of the show, don't you think? And luckily for us, almost every culture seems to have some sort of bread stuffed with some sort of something. Gyoza in Japan, Koshinia's in Brazil, freaking momos, talk about empanadas, hot pockets. Today we're getting a Haitian beef patty. Now, these bad boys are flakier than my ex best friend Kyle, and they're also full of more steamy meat than a junior high frickin' locker room. But before I smash, let's go see what these little beef freaks and patty monsters are thinking. What do you, uh, what do you do? I'm a fashion stylist. Oh, damn, dude. Before <laughs> we get into this larger conversation, what do you think about the way I'm dressed? I mean, hey, I can work with you. Uh-oh, he's working with me. <laughs> I can Ladies, work with you. Ladies, I'm signed. Can you describe my style in maybe a couple words? It's your own style. Your style is very unique for you. Okay. Today we're talking about Haitian food. Yes. What's the platonic uh, Haitian patty like? What's the ideal? It's like an orgasm in your mouth. Ooh, damn, sounds like my bar mitzvah. <laughs> <laughs> you put it in your mouth, you want to cut your fingers out. You're like, damn, you're like, damn, mm -hmm. I want to cut my whole, whole hey, you know, hand off. <laughs> <laughs> the okay. Haitian beef patty is just superior to the Jamaican beef patty. Damn, dude, shots fired. Down for <laughs> it's buttery. It's soft, it's flaky. You do not get that from any other type of patty, I'm sorry. Damn. If you were gonna get food for under five bucks, where would you go? Right across the street. Where? To Ooh, Cafe Louverture. Yay! <laughs> I'm at Cafe Louverture and I'm gonna go see how many of my little money ducats I can use to buy how many little patties we can. See you there. Hi. Hi, how are you today? I'm doing well. So today we're talking about Haitian patties. Yes. Uh, are you from Haiti? Yes, I am. How did you learn how to make patties? When I was seven, my grandmother taught myself and my cousin. That's awesome. And I've been doing it for years. So what's the difference between a Haitian beef patty and like a Jamaican beef patty? Well, Jamaican patties are very well known. Mm -hmm. And Haitian patties are a little bit less under the radar, but yeah. you know, so good. The difference is that a Haitian patty is a puff pastry. We make the puff pastry here as fresh. My cool. grandmother's recipe yeah. for over 50 years, Dang. yes. Our fillings, um, we have vegetable, yeah. we have chicken, beef, herring, lamb, and codfish. What can I get for five bucks? Two patties. Mm. We have a vegetable soup. Mm. It's a traditional soup from Haiti. That's the jumu? That's the jumu. Pronounce that very well. Thank you very much. <laughs> so I'm gonna get a beef patty and a vegetable patty. Five dollars. Amazing, cool. All right. There you are. Thank you. Thank you so very much. No, you're under arrest. Oh, hey, thank you so much. Woohoo! Damn, was that guy a mailman or what? Cause I just got some golden brown envelopes delivered to me. You got Mr. Beef and Mademoiselle Vegetable. Now let's break these guys open. You got them nice and crusty and golden on the outside. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Kublam! Oh, hell yeah, dude. You got these different layers here. You see it's all crusty on the outside and crunchy. And then as you go, Farther inward, that puff pastry kind of like steams as they're cooked. Now on the inside you got a little ground beef, you got some peppers, some onions. All right, I'm gonna make an introduction between this little guy and my mouth. This is so flaky, bro. Damn, dude, that kind of really brings this whole new thing to another level. The filling is like nice and spiced, a little bit of like a kick to it. Here we got our vegetable here. Bottom is looking nice and golden brown, isn't that right, Mac? Not. God, Mac, play no on, dude. So, let's give it a little broom broom, huh? <laughs> Packed with veggies, take a look. You got little mushroom boys in here, carrots, some spinach, maybe some onions and peppers. Oh yeah, it's fresh as hell, my friends. You can taste almost like eating like a vegetable soup inside of it. This one's a little bit mellower, and it's all kind of like stewed together. Nothing dominates, which is nice, uh, except for me. <laughs> After two of these suits, I'm definitely gonna be full. If you got an empty stomach bag and you've never had a Haitian patty before, get your soft little teeth and your sweaty old mouth down to Cafe Louverture. Until next time. If you came here and for some reason you had more than $5, lucky frickin' you. If I was you, I would get this fish sandwich right here. Oh, dang. 
got some cod in there. It's got avocado. It's got pickled vegetables. Nice little spicy mayonnaise. Come on down and get yourself a sandwich. Siri, remind me to buy a bigger table. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you watch this episode, maybe you tried a Haitian beef patty for the first time, make sure that you subscribe, that you like, and that you freaking comment, and that you share this guy, all right? You know the routine. I should not have to keep telling you this. Watch our previous episode on the best cheap Italian food in New York City, and I'll see you next time. Or maybe I'll never see you ever again.